Hello and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. We are trying to build up another rocket here and let's see what uh, <clears throat> what actually happens. But we are going to, I think, I, I haven't actually built one of these types of rockets before. So I'll be very curious to see how this all works. But I'm hoping the large cargo bay is what we need to gather materials from the um uh, the asteroid belt here uh the ore field so i guess we're going to find out pretty soon but we also need to get another rocket up and going uh specifically for um landing over here uh but i think there is uh one of the things that we need to build is maybe an interplanetary launcher well, that can't transport duplicates, but maybe we could send something over. We'll have to look. I feel like there's supposed to be some sort of robot or something that we can uh, launch to another planetoid to start evolving. Or uh, not evolving, but, you know, prepping it and getting it ready. I suppose we'll find out. Um, <clears throat> I'll keep clicking around while we look at some of this other stuff. So the this was a little bit anticlimactic because it's 10 more cycles before it erupts again. And I believe what we were trying to do was get this all kind of situated and functional. Um, this did produce some material, but it was very, um, it really didn't have much to it. So it immediately solidified. I'm hoping it produces a little bit more in the future. I may even just open this up to produce just to start getting rid of this water and producing more material. So I think I'm going to do that. Um, probably not the best idea, but maybe, maybe okay. We'll see what happens. Let's, uh, let's set the priority of this. Oh, it's already set to nine. So that's good. Uh, Apollo here is looking pretty good. I wish I kind of had that blueprint mod to copy and paste it over to here, but I don't. Um, let's go ahead and how is our oxygen generation going over here now? It looks like things are going much better. Um, it's still not churning out enough power to justify it moving yet, but um, we'll get there as this power goes down and it'll start pumping this out. The The good thing is this is not um, producing any more hydrogen out in the wild again. So that should take, you know, for the most part, take care of all of this stuff going on um, up here. Let's take a look. How is this power spline going over here? It seems like it's going all right. Um, one of the reasons I want to focus on getting that other planetoid uh, up and running in particular is because the other one has, uh, looks like aluminum and a gold volcano, uh, which will produce you know, relatively endless amounts of metal for us. And I don't think we currently have anything that uh, will generate metal for us. So um, that is kind of a priority because that's not a sustainable resource that we have currently. And we are running a little bit low. Um, let's go ahead and look at duplicate skills. We haven't done this in a while. Uh, we do need, looks like Harold is currently our our rocketeer but we do need somebody else to do that it looks like stinky is next up uh to do that now if he's just going to another planetoid i don't know if he needs all of the the research components he really just needs to get rocket piloting and that should be relatively set um hmm all right, well, we'll move with that for now. Let's go ahead and look at the research tree and see what options we have here. 
Uh, we've, we've done most of the research already. This can transport stuff, but not duplicates. We have the drill cone, which is what's important. Yeah, cargo module. Okay. Diamond press we're working on. All right, so I think, where's our little robot buddy? Maybe it's somewhere down here. Hmm. I'll have to look more into that, but I thought there was a robot you could send to uh, a planetoid. But anyway, let's, one thing at a time. <clears throat> I'm getting distracted. Uh, this is going pretty well overall. It's still producing maybe a little too much, but it's it's not terrible. Um, we do have another rocket man, so I don't need to worry about this. I guess we'll just get some pinch of pepper seeds, but I'll go to the other planet for that, uh, just so that the seeds are are over here. I don't know if I'm actually going to do anything with that, but it's it's good to have them there. I do have to start doing something about all this polluted oxygen. This is a little bit problematic. Um, and we are running a little bit low on polluted water. So uh, that is going to present a food problem here uh, relatively soon. So I'm hoping... All right, so this has no power wire. We should be good to a point where this electrical spline at least is able to get power up and running and we could get a little more efficiency going on with our, our food production. So let's go ahead and put this down. Let's get heavy watt wire <laughs> run over to here and then let's get standard wire run up to there. And that should take care of that for the most part. Um, we'll up the priority on that maybe just a little bit uh just so that all gets built because i definitely want them to be able to cook and make better uh, more efficient calorie meals all right so this is going to need some significant work now it's not designed to do orbital data collection so i'm not going to need to do that um, what I am going to need to do though, is get a lot of this other stuff in place. So let's go ahead and get a ladder bed built. Uh, that is under furniture ladder bed. And now that the ladder bed is there, we can go ahead and put a little floor in and then we don't need well, we could put an electrical outlet here. It's under rocketry, power outlet fitting. Go ahead and do that. And then I think we need a, this is liquid. This is gas. I always get these a little bit confused, so. Go ahead and look at the, yeah, that is the input. So <clears throat> let's go ahead and kind of mimic this a little bit. Let's get our ventilation pipe in. Make sure we leave enough room for running the output. Um, nope, didn't, didn't mean to do that. Let's, uh. Just maximizing the amount of oxygen that can be held in here. And then we are ultimately going to need output over there. Uh, the form of a gas vent. Actually, we should probably put that up a little higher and then cancel that just so we have a way to output the gases from, uh, from this. And then let's go ahead and get liquid water in here. We do have to get a uh, a bathroom in here as well. 
It's going to have to be a wall toilet. Flip that around. That will take care of the liquid. Uh, do the input. <clears throat> we'll do kind of the same thing here. I think we just need to build this up a little bit. I don't think this uses anywhere near as much. Let's go ahead and get a ladder coming up here, coming up here, and then we'll go across there just so that they can start building some of that out. We do want to build a fridge, even if we're not going to be necessarily powering it, uh, just so we have a place to store some food so people don't starve while they are on the rocket working. Uh, and I think that will relatively... <clears throat> at least for initial construction, um, put us in a pretty good spot. Let's go ahead and extend the plumbing. Uh, I should definitely use insulated pipe. And then we want to do the same thing with ventilation. Make sure we have oxygen coming in here. Okay, and that should be... Should be pretty good. Um, looks like we're in fairly good 19 out of 16. So this is too tall. We're going to have to put a different kind of engine in here. So we're probably going to need to do... Huh. Space above rocket blocked. No, it's not. Well, we'll have to sort that out. <clears throat> the sugar rocket is probably not going to do the trick for us. We need something a little more significant. Um, can I, let's just remove this module and then we'll just add a new, oh, maybe it's just saying that, well, let's just remove it and see what happens. Okay. We do have some production. It looks like going on here. It's going to take a little bit to build up. So let's we'll let that go ahead and start doing its thing. This is powered once again, so we are making <laughs> swampy delights. Um, hopefully that will make things a little bit better. Um, salt vine seeds are available. I will have to start doing something with that at some point. Uh, I really need to do something about all this uh, organic stuff in these bins. Let's build up a couple bins down here not that this is helping at the moment but if we build some bins down here and once this gets filled up with polluted water we can um stop off gassing the stuff here which i think will help quite a bit i need to continue mopping up all this stuff because it's getting a little little out of hand All right, so our current issue is body temperature. Uh, it's too cold up here. And the problem down here is it's too hot. So seems like uh, a solvable problem, but we're not quite there yet, apparently. Um, let's go ahead and put in some airflow tiles uh, just to make sure that we're getting the appropriate air flowing out of wherever it needs to flow out of although it is going to kind of get trapped here until i have somebody that can deconstruct this type of tile and build the airflow um all right so this is currently meeting the need in general um let's go ahead and take a look at how our rocket is coming along it's slowly slowly getting there um 
but we'll let them do its do their thing for now. Looks like gristleberry is our current like number one food source, which means that these must be up and running pretty well. The pinch of pepper plants are a little dicey because their temperature is getting just a little bit too low. I was hoping this would start producing more um more heat than it actually is right now i think what we're gonna have to do <laughs> i'm gonna monitor this for a second because i want yeah it's over pressure so it's actually not producing any right now at all <clears throat> so let's go ahead and drain out this water just so that we can get some proper steam generation going on again. There we go. It's still saying it's over pressure, which is a little bit surprising given how much water was in there. Uh, we might have to deconstruct over here just to get that water level down really far. All right, so we'll let that drain out. That does seem like it's producing steam now, which is good. That will rapidly raise the temperature up here, which will then go to the pipes, which will then translate over to here, which should increase our pinch of pepper plant production uh, quite significantly. So that is the hope anyway. This water, which is uh, not super warm, will ultimately end up dripping down here. Um, this minor volcano I'm hoping actually sets off at some point and starts just making a lot more material that's usable down here. Uh, I am going to issue just general sweep commands. Um, this is going off in eight cycles. I'm this looks like it's currently unreachable, which is a bit of a problem. Let's go ahead and deconstruct this gas pump. Set that priority nine, and maybe we'll even get a ladder in here just to try to get these things built as soon as possible um, so we can get this up and running. I actually don't think we necessarily even need this at all, but we'll leave it there for the time being. I really want to get enough heat generation to knock out, convert all this water to steam so that we can start deleting some of the heat over here. All right, it looks like our Drecos are in business. Um, the Mealwoods, at least, it's not maybe not consistently growing, but it is growing. I'm still pumping oxygen into there to try to, to remedy this. Um, it's just going to take a little time to get all that pressure built up. But overall, this is going pretty well. Uh, we are getting plastic uh, on a relatively consistent basis. So that's that's really good. Um, Bed-wise, we have... Looks like we have extra beds. So I'm not exactly sure why there was a bed error here, but it's gone now. Uh, stress. Harold has high stress. What is currently making him upset. Looks like low morale, sopping wet. So he needs more morale. Oh, he has light wounds as well. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, so this is probably hot enough to, to plug back up for the time being. Let's go ahead and put that on priority eight. Yeah, we are seeing some temperature improvements over here now. Which hopefully, yep, is translating to living and growing pitcha pepper plants. Everything is working pretty well right now. Uh, how much symbol read do I have? Probably a fair amount, I'd imagine. All right, 219 units. That is <clears throat> probably enough to go back and start replacing some of these mediocre paintings with uh, with better, higher quality ones. 
Uh, there is a difference in decor value, 30 to 36. Um, I don't know if that's going to make or break anything, but it looks like our water is, you know, not super good, but it's at least keeping up with the demand, pumping all this water out from down here. Um, I imagine that's only going to get more difficult as time goes on. Uh, why... So why is this showing as unreachable? They should be able to get into here, right? Oh, maybe it's just unreachable because there was no suit with oxygen in it. Okay, that kind of makes sense. Let's go ahead and deliver that. I am a little concerned about the lack of oxygen flow down to these suit areas. We're producing enough oxygen. It's just not reaching everywhere that it needs to be reaching. And I certainly am a little worried about the amount of suits and the metal that is being consumed. Although we'll have more metal hopefully relatively soon. We do have some starvation going on the other planetoid here. It looks like we still are fighting with um, body temperature. I was hoping three wheeze warts would be enough to kind of overcome that, but it seems like it's not. And now that these are too cold, these aren't producing uh, any food at all. So we got a little bit of a problem on our hands over here. I think we might even need to go over here and dump some of the barbecue or, or gristle berry. I'm going to really increase the priority of that just so they do it immediately. Um, just something we need to make sure is getting done. Uh, and they actually can't. Well, I guess that guy can do it. Uh, I'm going to turn off manual use for now. He did send something over, so let's go ahead and take a look at the other planetoid. There's a little bit of calories. Do we have another wart seed? We do. So I have a feeling, unfortunately, I'm going to have to uproot a couple of these and put wart seeds in there just to keep bringing the temperature down a little bit more this does not appear to be sufficient. Okay, that should be should be cooling it down I imagine quite a bit. I mean, it's a relatively self-contained room. Insulated tile. This should overcome any issues that we've been having. And now we have some bog jelly available, which is good. Uh, hopefully they will use cook this and, and at least make something that's slightly more calories um should make things a little bit better let's go ahead and look back at our our new spaceship it looks like it is somewhat in business um we don't have any gas currently coming in let's go ahead and pop back to the planetoid and see how that production is going Okay, it is, okay, so it's not, I should have connected it more like this and less like this. So let's, let's priority nine this just to get this done. And that should independently send out some, some stuff here. Uh, I do not have a module here. I need an engine. So let's go ahead and add a module. Base above rocket blocked. So I don't understand 
why it's saying it's blocked unless I have to like build it up here. Interesting. Oh. So I'm not exactly sure why this is doing this. Uh, the oxygen is also not flowing. Oh, because I have it, I have it connected to the output. And that's, again, I keep doing that. Uh, let's deconstruct that. And that should take care of that issue. Hopefully. Although I still don't have a way to build the engine which is very strange. I was hoping I'd be able to just, uh, I could build the sugar engine, but it won't let me build this. Do I have the, maybe I don't have the research for it. Maybe that's the problem. No, I have it. Okay, so maybe the problem is I built the modules too soon. That would kind of suck if I have to take this apart. Uh, just because I didn't have a engine module. is really weird so here's the rover module that deploys the rover bot that i was talking about earlier um hmm. there's a trailblazer module so is the issue maybe well that's the sugar engine that's not the uh, oxidizer. So it says the space above the rocket is blocked. Is this maybe just too high off the the surface, and that's what's throwing me for a loop here? I'm not. I'm not exactly sure. So I think um, <clears throat> I might have to just trash this observatory. Uh, the telescope here and just try to get this rocket maybe moved over okay we do have oxygen flowing in here now which is good maybe the large cargo bay is not going to work on this one I'll have to, to swap it with a different module and we might have to get um, get something going over here instead Okay, so that seems like I'm going to put the sugar engine back on here. And then we also need a oxidizer tank. I think we could take the drill cone off of here because that's not what this is going to be used for now. All right, let's build a new rocket. Now we can do a steam engine. Let's go ahead and build that. And then we could build a, a drill cone. I guess we'll make that out of iron.
to the spacefarer module. It's going to let me build that. Well, let's wait for that to get get that as built as it's going to get. <clears throat> okay, there we go. Now this is higher. I think it was just because of that that engine. Okay, we got the space fur module. We got a large cargo bay. And then we are going to need some power. Right, so solar panel and a battery module. Uh, artifact transport module could be useful if that'll fit. I could see that being a thing. So let's go ahead and get that up and running. Now, does a steam engine need... I don't know if a steam engine actually needs any uh, oxidizer. Looks like it just uses steam. So I will have to try that. The other thing is we're going to have to generate... Um, we're going to have to generate a gas... Um, we're going to have to generate steam to pump into here. So we're going to have to... Um, I mean, we have some... We have a cool steam vent right here. I guess we could try to pump some of this gas out, but it's it's cool. It's only 110 degrees, so it's not a ton of wiggle room for us as far as temperature goes. I might have to get something that heats it up a lot more, um, which, I mean, got some volcanoes down here. Maybe uh, Maybe that'll do it. Uh, minor volcano. Three, three cycles. This is dormant right now. Still being analyzed. Okay, so we don't have that data yet. We definitely need to increase the oxygen production over here because this is uh, a little bad. Um, I think I'm going to... Disable this vent, and then we can go ahead and enable this building so that they require a suit to come in here. Stop getting all this eye irritation and stuff going on. And then some of that oxygen that's getting pumped into here will now start to flow down here a little more regularly, which would be a good improvement. Uh, here is a third rocket uh, up and running. We'll have to design that. Um, I might do that off camera just to save some time uh, and we can get maybe a little more a little more progress here. So let's go ahead and build a little ladder here. Make sure we can get that built. Last time I built a gantry, it just melted when the rocket took off. So I think I'm just going to try to stick with ladders for the time being. Uh, let's go ahead and look at new printers. See what we got waiting for us here. Um, the agriculture is kind of nice. Um, yeah, I don't really care about that. If we get a better farm system set up here, the agriculture dupe could be useful here. Um, I feel like we're actually getting enough bog jelly now, which is good. Uh, maybe I will get this, uh, this dupe up and running here. <clears throat> Hopefully they'll be more productive with, with the farm in specific. Um, let's take, let's look back here at one last thing. Um, this is going to pick up in 15 cycles. So this is the primary source of polluted water for the other planetoids. So I do need to make sure that that gets up and running. Um, we also have all this brine we're not doing anything with at the moment. We probably should put a little bit of effort into, um, converting this maybe into regular water to, to fill this up. And that would also create some brine. So um, this has a lot of germs in it, but I'm just not ready to to tackle that at the moment. So, yeah, I would say overall, um, 
we're making some fairly decent progress. This will eventually produce a fair amount of steam for us. Um, we are getting the two rockets up and running that we wanted to get built and in heading out in that direction. So let's go ahead and just check these boxes and get that, get that in there. Um, so we will have some rockets, uh, relatively soon actually, um, which will be great. And then we can focus on getting this one to another planetoid and this one to, um, to the mineral uh, ore field to start mining it. So progress, um, sometimes a little slow, but progress in general, which is a good thing. Uh, if you like the episode, please consider hitting the like button, subscribing to the channel, see more content in the future, and we will catch you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.